And oh, it's the earthquake boost. And there's a warden fireball. Okay. And we're back into the creative mass series where Ghost is off to start here. We'll have the webcams hopefully for the second attack here. But this is match number 10. And this is a match between Ghost and Van. Taking on ESK and Alfonso. The winner of this is going to take on Mask and Darkstar in the second round. And Mask actually won last year's creative master series. As we're going to see an overgrowth right off the start. And he's going to rage up these bats. I'll take out the scatter shot. Take out this initial section. And have that bat wave coming on through with the packas from that siege barracks. He doesn't have a second overgrowth. As the bats can make their way towards the single target inferno. Remember, it is about, what, 27, 28 seconds? As the bats are flying towards this eagle. Can they take out that single target inferno? They're trying their best to overwhelm it no the builder hut's too much single helps pick it off he drops the skeleton spell off to the left side in front of that storage as the monolith is going to lock on to a super wall breaker as we got valkyries coming out of that siege barracks and we got archers and archers and skeletons and a super dragon coming out of the defensive clan castle with a warden Gonna be able to pop his ability to protect these hogs. Pops it now. Queen's trying her best to take out the town hall. Does have the healer puppet as well. As we got super barbs coming around this edge. Super barbs to the top side. With that royal champion and her ability of the haste file and the hogs to come on through. There's the queen ability. But she... Oh, I thought she died. Nope. She's barely alive but losing all of her healers. And it's up to this warden and the RC paired together. The warden doesn't have anything to help this RC. Just trying to help with it in terms of the damage output. No life gem or rage vial or rage gem or anything on it. But the RC is going invisible. And her ability is still intact. And Ghost will get the three star here to start it off. GG to you, Ghost. Well done. And he's got one super barb left. Doesn't need it as it's a triple to start it off for them. And Alfonso is up. Good luck to you. And Alfonso's got two overgrowth spells with the bats as well. Starting off with that queen. Balloons, quite a bit of them are down to the right side. Queen's going to make her way towards this town hall. And there's the early blimp that is just avoiding that sweeper there. As he's going to open it up, out comes the yetis. Out comes a lot of headhunters. Drops the warden as well. So he's going to have to drop a poison spell. Is it enough? He's going to have to go with a freeze onto this. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Come on, you're going to heal that queen back up. And there's a few healers. All right, there you go. So she'll get her health back here. With two overgrowths and a bat wave to fly around this base. There's the first. And there we go. Overgrowth onto the whole core of the space. Drops a Yeti to the top side to distract the Archer Tower and a Tesla that pops up there. As you can have these bats just coast their way around and avoid. There's the second overgrowth. Hopefully he timed it right so that he got the full value of it as he drops an Ice Golem to the bottom side. Now he's going to overwhelm that Monolith and he can maybe distract this Archer Tower over here with 12 more Sneakies. He's just completely ignoring the Town Hall. There goes the bats, but unfortunately the scatter shot shreds them. That should be okay. They got a lot of value as he has his King ability. Tassel of popped from the bottom side. There's the wall break so that the sneaky goblins can help go for the town hall. Two invises, double poisons in the core. As the queen is taking a lot of damage though, pops the warden ability now. As sneaky goblins are going to help clear the town hall with two invises, uses the first. Town hall is going down. Still has his raw champion to send in. Tornado trap pops, but we do have a defensive king. Couple more sneakies, a giant, the golems out in front to help try to protect this queen as the unicorn's gonna heal up the queen back to full health, hopefully. As we got a giant, we got the baby dragon helping to take out the defensive king. Just picking this base apart with the RC ability still intact with the hogs. And makes the RC invisible to try to ignore the king at this point. But unfortunately, the queen, her ability I believe was forced, got some healers from it. As he's trying to make 
his way through the core and the spear fox needs to make the royal champion invisible and there's the rc ability to freeze up the poison spell tower so the poison spell doesn't get launched right away as he gets through the defensive king with 40 seconds left we do have a single target inferno left which locks down to some of these golemites he has a giant coming in for the bottom side does he have enough the spear fox needs to stay alive as the rc is making her way to the single the rc needs to be clutched through the defensive queen oh come on get that single down and he does and now he's gonna go invisible but is the timing perfect with 15 seconds it's a full health storage the rc is now gonna go and get pulled to the enemy queen but he no the the fox died the queen must have locked on and the rc gets taken out just like that and ghost just hangs on in this hit and van is up to answer with an overgrowth and nine bat spells nine of them okay this is a war of overgrowth bats let's see the value that he can overgrowth that whole court but he only has one overgrowth he can't use it twice a couple rocket looms going on in we have a rage gem on that it's like doing the farm attack you know yeah There's monolith here a bunch of seeking air mines are triggered but the monolith is going to go down and you don't want the rocket loons to get too close to the town hall because if they do get over the town hall the death damage will activate it as he pulls out the full clan castle of a super dragon here with 40 regular goblins okay and there is the warden there's a giant down south and we got an overgrowth over the town hall oh, okay okay so he's got a warden ability and he's gonna freeze up the scatter this is where he needs to really protect okay there's the warden ability as he's being protected but this multi-target inferno is not overgrowth he must have missed it and that's gonna be a huge issue and the bats are gonna go to the ricochet cannon and these bats are gone oh no oh things are going south things are going south right here okay well there's the poison out of the super dragon here's the cane to go in for the town hall but the overgrowth unfortunately didn't get a baby dragon at three because you get like five six seven buildings there because he's a tesla man it was an issue we do have a troll tesla in the far corner and an invisibility spell near that town hall so he's gonna have to pair up the freeze when he pops this king ability to go for the town hall here queens continue our way towards the top side we have that king ability to be used but he's waiting he's being patient here and now at this point he's got to get as much percentage as possible since he knows that that bat wave didn't get as much value as he hoped for with a battle drill coming on in you don't want to activate that invisibility spell too early for the town the king ignores the town hall there's the king ability ground skeleton pops and we're gonna see freeze not yet and and oh no oh he's fine no he's not no he's not okay but he still has the rc oh no he's not okay that's what i was worried about um you got one bat spell you can probably use it at 11. you don't have anything to deal with it you gotta send the rc into the town hall king comes back to life he's going for it he's trying his absolute best does he take it down and all right well i guess the king was enough to grab it so now he sends the rc to the top side my goodness look at this so if he was able yeah, it's to just the core that's uh that's yeah um, that I, I positioned the uh, if you just overgrowth wrong she, she does have her the haste vial and the seeking shield to skip across pops the ability gonna speed her way on through but unfortunately the whole core here still remains and he got some nice percentage pulls out a lot of ground skeletons and into the high 80s 88 percent there for van and now vsk triples will be all tied in this match nice try esk is up to answer with himself some valkyries bats as well five invises and we got typical abilities across the board nothing too crazy here as we got seven sneakies what's the plan with seven sneakies all right you can see exactly how ES esk attacks <laughs> we got the aerial shot good luck with that warden straight like the tires in the quarry that way if they were to finish it off of like super minion full dragon raiders they'll be able to get time. it time he's going to continue this warden walk to go in towards the ground expo as he's doing a skelly donut at the same time 
a, actually a bat donut i should say as he drops another bat to help try to clear the multis does he want to grab the multi archer towers uh, i think he does so that's why he invests another one but unfortunately it's not going to take them down so they are going to remain standing here as he drops some balloons under the cannon giant king over to the far right side while this warden continues his walk as we got a wall breaker in towards the top side so the king can actually continue his walk off to the enemy queen even with another wall breaker to give the king access to the scatter shot here all right i see you but that defensive rage will get activated eventually once the warden gets into that zone there as he wall breaks to the left to allow the queen to go there as the warden now joins in with the queen king's ability taken out the right side including that scatter shot as we have some valks coming in towards the left continuing his way through and there is the blimp gonna pull the poison spell but oh he's also gonna find unfortunately a tornado trap spinning himself around a bunch of headhunters an inferno dragon coming out of this clan castle those headhunters are gonna shred through the warden or queen once he gets close and unfortunately the warden ability is forced due to the ricochet cannon bouncing out of the warden there as that town hall still remains drops the poison spell to clear these headhunters now sends the rc into the core dang i had those cores skellies the air and it eagle artillery is going to get raged up as well does have a queen ability has a rage of his own and an invisibility spell but he's got to get through to grab that town hall the queen is going for the wall now as he's making his way closer to this town hall the queen has access to it but the royal champion goes straight onto it to help try to damage it but she won't finish it off the queen needs to get it as a golem stuck on the outside and the golem will step into the ground expo as a bunch of ground skeletons are coming over to his queen and this one is not going to get it a three star but he should be safer at two as he does have queen ability with the invisibility vial rages this queen on up as the town hall is going down He's got a minion archer to the bottom side has sneaky goblins to the top a couple more valkyries is this the question is a time fail if the if he had unlimited time would the queen and her ability be able to secure it with an invisibility spell most likely there's the queen ability now because of time is not on his side as he drops another invis spell to help protect a healer which i believe went down as this is going to be in the 90s after all that esk great effort there as percent is on their side but stars is not a 96 percent two star and ghost is up what does he have up his sleeve here with a super valkyrie two bowlers six lightning spells and a three bath all right starts off with the yeti to the bottom and a giant to the left a couple bowlers to get that bowler bounce onto the air defense that giant was there solely to distract to help protect the bowlers to get that bounce and not only probably have to set funnel as he does lightning the core as he's got the queen down yet he takes out the archer tower to help up establish even more of a funnel as two headers going in straight for that royal champion and she's going down with ease as he drops the king behind an ice golem to go into this bottom compartment and as he has six dragon riders no wall breaker here so he's going to rely on the king and a super valkyrie once it dies will rage up this area as we got a warden on air with the dragon riders and oh it's the earthquake boots that's how he's getting access to them. and look at that perfect super valkyrie helping allow raging up these heroes oh with a perfect super valkyrie placement when it died and there's a warden fireball okay okay i'm not even checking these abilities here he's got the warden fireball paired in with the earthquake boots i see you ghost as he continues to fly his way around the queen does pop her ability has healers here the king took up i'm gonna try to swag the rc I'm yeah you gotta sure. roll tesla at six drop oh, the bar over there yeah this is looking really strong yeah, here. I'm gonna try to swag the RC. Hopefully, we get some more points for that. That model of is he gonna swag the Royal Champ to try to get a little bonus points here? Freezes up that ground expo and Ghost. What an attack here! My goodness, calculated that one there as the Warden helps snipe the multi arch tower, going straight for this air defense. As because that Dragon Rider went for it, the Warden as well keeping him alive and this is gonna be a three star dropping some arch to the bottom he does not want to use that raw champion gg look at that that's super valkyrie a perfect place to die to rage up his heroes i think the super valkyrie when it dies should what give you like a max rage because if you didn't know 
you don't get a regular raid spell level or a max raid spell level when a super valk dies it is a lower level for that raid spell as the queen is full health headhunter helps slow down that king time is not going to play any role or any factor in the creative mass series so he doesn't have to worry about it as he completely swags that royal champion and alfonso is up and at this point they've got to triple can he do it with nine super minions and overgrowth to spare two invisibilities three freezes three rages Let's take a look at those abilities because ghost caught me off guard with some fireballs and earthquakes but we're fine we're fine no fireballs and earthquakes here as we've got a minion finding a tesla to the outside queen down right away we'll have that healer puppet once he burns that queen ability as we got regular wall breakers opening up the wall here for that queen as he drops healers of his own as he got regular wall breaks off to the right side because he can't take a super wall breaker since he has super minions and sneaky goblins he's forced to go with regular wall breakers here as he rages i hope he sends like three sneakies right now for the storage i don't know if he tested not yet. locking on the queen just yet now it does Maybe I've got mini bombs there to blow him up. As he is going to encounter this enemy royal champion, finds a tornado trap, killing the enemy RC as a sinking air mine does not go for his healer. So he drops another balloon. Monolith goes down. King is going to make his way into the scatter shot here. Sneakies. Look at this. He's multitasking in three different compartments of the space. As now Sneakies are going to go for the town hall. Invisibility uh, spell tower did not activate. Rages up. No, he froze. And then ra raged up the queen here to get through the enemy queen, popping the king ability. And unfortunately, okay, no, he activated the invis. Okay, I was going to say, he did he drop all of his sneaky goblins? But no, he's fine. He can send the rest of them now into the town hall. Queen's going to get hit. Oh, okay, never mind. I was going to say queen was going to get hit by the headhunter, but he's going to overgrowth the whole core. There is the sneakies on the town hall. There's the invis as well. And he still has nine super minions, which he can send to go into the core. Uh-oh, there's a lot of headhunters. Town Hall's been secured. Still has a raw champion. Still has a stone slammer. Come on, he's going to have poison through these headhunters. Queen is staying alive. Does he even have her ability? There is the super minion from the top side with the stone slammer. He does have the warden internal tome as well. As the queen ability is four, sends in the raw champion to go in for the core. We do have a single target inferno, but look, he's got a rage, an invis. A couple freezes as well. Ain't gonna ward an eternal tome. So when he's gonna use these spells, because this is looking pretty good here for Alfonso, as long as he can clip some of these troops and even more super minions coming out of that stone slammer. Hogs coming from the Royal Champion ability. And my friends, Alfonso is getting a three star break in this base down with some super minions. A little bit of a queen charge. Sneaky goblins to the town hall. Well done. It is a super minion attack not dragon riders not dragons not inferno dragons but super minions and that's what the other worry about is if you drop super minions to your warden your warden initially will outpace those super minions and he could pull those initial traps so maybe you ought to try to use that warden just a little bit later after the super minions get their first shots off but it's okay because this keeps them in it with a beautiful super minion attack and van is up a three star, you lock this war up in game. Not counting the judge bone. But if you don't triple, the opportunity is open for ESK and Alfonso to make a comeback here as the skeleton donut is coming in to help remove the clan castle and the monolith and mo the mortar does get a shot off, but it's okay. And does he have to use that final? No, he doesn't have to use that final invisibility spell as the clan castle does go down. And we're finding some spring traps right on the outside of the space. Headhunter absolutely crushing through that king. His queen's going to continue her way through. As we've got nothing too crazy here on the heroes. As he drops regular healers and that warden to help rage up the healers to get it for the queen. As he's dropping out rocket loons to go for this multi inferno tower. But this double sweeper push, unfortunately, a big issue. And those rocket loons do not get that multi target inferno down. So that will stay up here as he does have a log launcher still to utilize. And here comes a log launcher to come in for that queen as he rages it up. And the queen unfortunately forced her ability as he does still have the warden eternal tome. Rocket Loose did remove that multi on the far right side as we do have a troll Tesla popping up in the corner. As he's continuing as the log launcher was able to then 
activate the invisibility spell near the town hall drop in some rocket loose for the multi as the log launcher needs to continue through and opens the walls but this queen unfortunately doesn't have her ability anymore and the rage up healers are trying to keep this queen alive but she's taking so much damage and down as she goes guys 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 hang on the uh town hall's up and he's already dropped his overall champion to the right side um wait a second he's got a raid what is he gonna do the warden is tanking do you drop the rage for the warden and the healers to keep tanking the damage nope the healer's gonna transfer. Um, this can't be a one star, right? This can't be a one star. That will be detrimental here as the Royal Champ still has her ability with the Hawks and the Haste Vial. The Spear Fox is gonna make the RC go invisible. The King helped clear some of that. The Poison Spell Tower has not been launched yet, but it's gonna be launched here as he rages up the RC. She goes invisible, drops some Barbarians maybe to the left side as the RC. Uh oh. Oh, there is Ground Skeleton! Oh no, oh no, oh no, the Spear Fox is dying. No, he pops the ability. There's a Tornado Trap as well, and a Poison Spell! Gets launched! Can the RC secure the Town Hall? Oh my goodness. Van gets the Town Hall, secures the second star just barely, which means that ESK has a chance to win this war. And ESK is in for his final attack here, looking to get that triple, as he's got 21 hogs in the mix. Take a look at some of these abilities here that he's got. All right. With four invises, three freezes, two skeletons, a bat, a jump, three healers, and he's got a healer puppet of his own. Hmm. With a barbarian out in front of the flame flinger to the bottom side. 13 sneaky goblins. And there is the skelly donut onto the middle the core to help grab the multi-target inferno the clan castle here and it's going down slowly multi has been secured but does the clan castle go down guys hang on wait 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 oh no it stays up that's gonna be so painful especially if ice golems are coming out and a tesla right in front of the flame flinger he doesn't see it here gonna cause the flame flinger to open up early oh no raccoons all of them coming out warden is down to the far right side there is the jump for that queen to jump directly into the mile as a rage in the core does get activated warden is continuing to try to warden walk his way king is coming to the top side as we got the queen continuing towards this town hall but we have the royal champion with hogs of her own as the queen can burn ability to help secure the town hall king's ability goes off helping to grab the scatter shot and eventually try to make his way to the defensive queen and there's the hogs as the warden is getting locked down by the royal champion he drops an apprentice warden you're gonna see a warden ability get forced or he's waiting nope he does there it is there's the warden ability for these hogs trying to make their way straight through the core as we had inferno dragons actually coming out of the clan castle as he freezes up the core and luckily he's not ice golems for the royal champion to get distracted on and slow him down but the rc will have to take them down first as the hogs are continuing their way through but a bomb tower is going to be acts so detrimental here killing off these hogs as he's trying to continue his way through does have the rc ability a freeze as well as the single target inferno is taking down the apprentice board he does lose his spear fox so he's gonna have to try to get through no oh he does have the rc ability she goes invisible just for a quick sec finding not one not two but three giant bombs for those hogs can the raw champion stay alive the warden's full healthier the rc dies oh no 44 seconds he's got three sneaky goblins the warden's getting healed up here time 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 does he have enough it's a raise against time with 35 seconds one sneaky goblin there's no storages left or collector so the goblin could go for any building the warden's trying his absolute best nothing in the corners is up to the warden here i don't think he has enough time with 20 seconds he needs the warden to tank this arch tower before he could drop that sneaky goblin 14 seconds warden get in range get in range warden get closer the one time you want the warden to get closer come on warden get closer he drops it it's a time ball wait a second he could have maybe dropped it a little earlier oh no never mind it wouldn't have mattered it's a time fail oh so close which means that the war 
is 10 to 9. 74.6 for Arrow, Ghost and Van. 78.2 for ESK and Alfonso, which means that now we go to the judge voting. With a final score here of ESK and Alfonso of 9.88 and Ghost and Van 11.13. And with that, Ghost and Van are advancing to round two to take on Mask and Darkstar. And Mask was the previous year's champion in the Creative Master series.